Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to install SQL Server 2016 Management Studio. The reason I'm putting this video out there is because SQL Server 2016 Management Studio is not part of a basic installation of SQL Server 2016 anymore, like it used to be in SQL Server 2014 and below. There are a couple ways that you can uh, download and install a SQL Server Management Studio. One is that you can directly go on internet and just type SQL Server 2016 Management Studio download. It'll direct you to the uh, download page. Other method that I will be using is from installation media. Uh, you can click on the link and it will redirect you to the internet to download the file and you can install it from there. Uh, one interesting thing that I noticed in my um, last install that if you are planning to install SQL Server 2016 enterprise uh, services and engine services or other services um, or feature what what it does is that if you install SQL Server Management Studio ahead of time, it will take care of most the prerequisite that requires uh, in SQL Server 2016 for different services and feature of uh, SQL Server 2016 Enterprise. So I thought that is worth mentioning that you can um, use SQL Server Management Studio installation first and take care of the prerequisite uh, that requires in SQL Server 2016. Let's get into the installation. Here's the server that I'm going to install. Um, SQL Server Management Studio. Here's my media. This is my landing page. If you click on your media, open it and right click on setup and run as administrator, you will have your landing page looking like this. For me, landing page takes a little bit of time. That's why I have it pre-populated. You need to click on installation and click on install SQL Server Management Studio. As you can see that it has redirected us to Microsoft site to download the SQL Server Management Studio. Here is the latest release for production. I wouldn't recommend that you do that directly in your server. You can do it on your um, uh, laptop or client machine and put it in uh, DBA share where they can uh, grab the file later on and install in uh, different places. So click on download SQL Server Management Studio. If you get an error that your security doesn't allow uh, for you to download this file, you need to click on up here in setting, internet setting, and go on internet option, go to security, and click on internet, and then you can click on custom level and go all the way down where it says that uh, download file, you have to enable that. It's somewhere here. Anyway, so you have to enable it for it to uh, start downloading. Let's go ahead and save it. I'm gonna save it uh, in my downloads right here since this is just a demo, uh, I'm okay with that. But um, uh, if you do it on your laptop, uh, please make sure that you put it in somewhere, shared folder where other people can access it and don't have to go through this again. Click save. I'm going to pause the video while it's downloading. It's 13%. All right, as you can see that uh, download is completed. Let's close this and go to our download folder. Right here is SQL Server Management Studio. Right click on the file, click run as administrator. All right, here is the landing page. Click on install. Installation is going to take some time, so uh, I'll be pausing the video. Once the installation is completed, I'll be back and we will uh, take a look that um, if there are any issues um, launching SQL Server Management Studio and connecting with SQL Server. All right, as you can see, the setup is completed. Let's close it and fire up uh, SQL Server Management Studio. You can search with SSMS and right click, run as administrator. Well, this is 2008R2, we don't want that. SSMS. This is the one that we want. 
SQL Server 2016, Management Studio. All right, here's the, the SQL Server that was already installed on this um, uh, server. Let's connect and see if we can connect OK. Everything looks good. That, that is really it. I